Okay, hopefully we are live. Let me just fix this. So, my name is Joseph. For those of you who may not know, uh, Zenny has been wanting me to do a live vlog, and this is it. Um, as we all know about the latest occurrences with uh, the Raiders, Antonio Brown, uh, I want to focus mainly on Mike Mayo. Throughout this whole saga that, created, that started on Tuesday, you have these reporters on ESPN, Fox Sports News, uh, whatever outlet, are so emphatic in wanting to see the Raiders fail. And there's a narrative that's being pushed here that no one's talking about. And so one of the things Danny brings up is institutional racism, which is obviously the case here. One thing that I was very impressed by was a former 49er, Steve Young, who said the art of being a general manager is learning how to deal with people. And it didn't seem like anybody's had any interpersonal communication skills here. And you want to keep everything in-house. And it seems like everybody that comes from TV, they want to be superstars. Mayock was the king of the hill in NFL Network. So he comes over to the general manager position, which we all know he doesn't necessarily deserve it. I think, from my perspective, this is my personal opinion, I think he's very insecure. Maybe not as a man or a human being. I'm sure he's a great guy. But is it in his position as general manager of the Raiders, I think there's a lot of insecurity there. And to me, it's obvious he never wanted AB to be a Raider. And let's not forget, with all the criticisms that Gruden gets, he's running the show from top to bottom. And I think it was very wise for Gruden to take the stance that he did. Um, now, I want to transition a little bit to another situation with, with regards to um, not only the, the Mayock situation with him and AB, but where are these reporters that are getting third-hand accounts stating, again, using the word emphatically, that he called Mayock a cracker, uh, that he the one that confronted Mayock. Everybody followed that same narrative, except for one reporter that I'm very impressed by, and that's, um, I think I mentioned him before, Paul Gutierrez. He said that when Derek Carr was frustrated about the letter, him and, excuse me, Antonio Brown was frustrated about the letter, and him and Derek Carr were going back and forth uh, running routes. And the last route he ran, he ran into the end zone, and then he threw the ball at the fence. And somehow that turned into where he had an altercation with Mayock. Then all of a sudden you hear that he called him a cracker. So, okay, R2, R2, that Paul Gutierrez may be annoyed, but he's getting his facts straight. That's really all I'm caring about at this moment. Um, and so the other thing I want to bring up as well is that we have a situation where you have every sports analyst, critic, former players that just want to about just beat down the Raiders and tell them how we should do this and we should do that. But think about it. Where is that same hostility and anger for a player in Kansas City? who allegedly, and let's reemphasize it, allegedly abused his children, but just got a three-year extension. But we're supposed to cut our losses so that someone else, when we cut Brown, someone else can pick him up, more than likely the Patriots. I mean, we all need to calm down here. And so hopefully my prediction is that because of this, Mayock will eventually step down. Maybe not now, but I think at the end of the season, it'll be a slow transition out. And um, before I leave, I also wanted to point out here in Los Angeles, uh, listen to ESPN 710 AM, um, which maybe I shouldn't plug, but I just did. Um, 
I purposely was looking through, the, hearing different uh, broadcasters, hear what one side saying over the other. One interesting thing Keyshawn Johnson said was he's not a big Mike Mayock fan because Mike Mayock thinks he's a tough guy. That he goes around, I think, in NFL Network kind of browbeating people and kind of putting people down. And Keisha John says that Mike Mayock needs to shut up because he's not a tough guy. So if we have some of that going on where Mike Mayock thinks he can bully his way into the situation, when we all know he shouldn't be in the position of general manager. Granted, he's done a great job with the draft. And I think he should have never been general manager, but maybe a high-priced consultant. So having said that, I look forward to maybe doing more vlogs. I'm not into being on camera too much, but uh, I thought this was important to say. And like I said before, as the title indicates, I do believe that Mayock probably by the end of the season will step down as general manager, but still will be on the team as a advisory position. All right, Zenny. Uh, any last words? I am uh, going to log off soon. If you have any input, I'll just take a look at the uh, screen here. Okay, I see no other uh, responses. And I hope everybody's enjoyed this uh, short little vlog and uh, look forward to connecting with all of you a little later with Zenny. Take care. Yes, Zenny. Oh, you know me, I'm a little shy about the camera thing, but I'm doing my best. And uh, hopefully this is, I want to do this just right without having anything prepared because I wanted my emotions to come out and hopefully it's it's got across coherently. Uh, you know, I'm a big firm believer in trying to put your thoughts together coherently. So hopefully I get to talk to you soon and... Um, Go Raiders. Oh, and by the way, we're all great Raider fans. This is my team. I respect Oakland. I respect the team that's going to Vegas. No matter where we're at, Raider is a Raider. Whether it be an LA Raider, Oakland Raider, Mars, Vegas, we're Raiders till we die. Go Raiders.